Hi, I'm Alain Coté, Creative Director at Expression Multimedia. If you're watching this clip, you're probably curious about website content management systems, or as we like to call them, CMS. You may have heard the term from one of your colleagues or other organizations, but you're not quite sure what a CMS is or what it does. Well, no worries. We'll remedy that over the next few minutes as we present a brief but comprehensive overview of what you need to know about content management systems. After watching this presentation, we invite you to watch our second clip, which takes a more in-depth look at the specific features that the Expression CMS has to offer. Let's get started. Before we talk about content management systems, let's look at how traditional websites are produced. Here's a typical scenario. Based on content that your organization provides, a web company uses web design software, such as Dreamweaver or FrontPage, to design and program your site's web pages and navigation. The site is then launched and is available to the public. When your organization has updates or corrections, you send your new content to the web company and again using web design software, they update the site. A CMS turns the situation around by giving you and your organization the power to update and manage your website yourself without having any knowledge of HTML, web design or complex software. How does that work? It starts with the building of the CMS itself. Access through a password-protected web page, a CMS works in a web browser such as Internet Explorer. Visually, a CMS looks like a series of forms, buttons, and on-screen commands. Let's look at a very simple example, using a CMS to update a web page. On the left is a web page as it looks to the public when accessing your site. We call this the live site or the front end. On the right is the same page but in edit mode which is accessible only by you and cannot be seen by the public. This page is part of your CMS and we usually refer to these edit mode pages as the backend or administrative section. The backend page has the same content as the frontend page but is in edit mode, which means that you can easily change the content as you would in Microsoft Word. When your changes are done, you simply click the save button at the bottom of the page. Automatically, the page on the front end the one accessible to the public, will be updated. Simple, isn't it? And that's pretty much the essence of a CMS. Using the same method, the system allows you to change text, images, links, and many other elements on the page. In addition to updating existing content, a CMS also allows you to create new pages and place them within your existing site. To avoid design issues, templates are used as the basis of all new pages. Of course, the CMS also allows you to delete pages you no longer want. The first question we usually get asked after a client understands what a CMS is, is how much does it cost? Unlike software like Microsoft Word or Adobe Photoshop, which work out of the box, CMS software needs a lot of customization to get up and running. It has to be integrated with the visuals of your site, it has to be configured with the specific technical needs of your web strategy, and it has to be installed properly on your web server. All these factors affect cost, which is why we always do at least a basic client's needs analysis before being able to provide a price. Here's what to consider when weighing the pros and cons of traditional web work versus using a CMS. In traditional web work, most of the costs are at the beginning when the site is being built. Then, depending on the frequency of updates, moderate the high costs are associated with changes and updates which have to be executed by a web company. With a CMS, most of the costs are also at the beginning as the site and CMS are being built. As a matter of fact, building a CMS costs more than building a traditional website. However, over time, the costs of updates, which are now no longer outsourced, are minimal to non-existent. Most organizations and companies that update their sites frequently find that the long-term savings greatly outweigh the initial startup costs.